May of 1921. There is peace. For now. There are boats. For now. Nothing bad ever happens to Austria-Hungary. Well, we left off in a pretty good position. We have two vaguely modern battle boat. A third in production. Healthy su supply of big cruiser, small cruiser. Our destroyers have always been pretty effective. Thinking about needing to deprecate all of our coal-powered Corvettes. In fact, let's go ahead and commit and just scrap the old coal-burning ships and we'll replace them over time. Advance to Crab. Build like two of those a year or so. Maybe more. No one else really maintains a force of patrol boats in peacetime. That's our thing that we do. Of course, we created our first small carrier. With a second also on the way. Start to think about birds. Zeppelin development can be low priority. So, armor... Armor, medium, machinery, medium. Turrets and gun mountings. Hi. We're getting closer to, like, the growth forms and gun layouts that I'm looking for in my forever boats. Fire control high, overall. Ship design, high priority. Ammo, we can backfill ammo later, it's fine. Torpedo warfare, high. Torpedo technology itself, high. Submarines, forbidden. Anti-submarines, patriotic. Yeah, tactics, also medium. Anti-air, high priority. There's some important AA tech that I kind of want in circulation as soon as possible. And think about birds. Uh, guns. We've counted as high as 17. We have a neutral quality 16 inch gun. If we wanted to make Warge battleship, we have a plus one 14 inch cannon. If when I make another generation of big gunship, that is probably their primary weapon. 
Now if we could figure out how to mount that on a Zeppelin. That's the future. Then another one, yeah, so I have a plus one eight, a plus one six. So like, yeah, that's, that's my heavy cruiser main weapon. There's my light cruiser main weapon. If I could get a stronger five, then I would be pretty satisfied with our overall repertoire of cannons. Like, so our destroyer... Yeah, our destroyers are stopping at five for their gun caliber. For the time being. All right then, let's roll. That does not concern us. Okay, so, file key. Error management. For our first light carrier. Whereas at these also have a reasonable chance of just sticking around as escorts. In which case the things they will want are... Like a mix of... Mostly fight... Our fighter has... The ability to carry a bomb load, doesn't it? Our current active fighters, no, they do not have bombing capability yet. So our torpedo bomber is also our dive bomber for now. We have, we have only level bomber. Then Bomber 13 Fighter. And need to delay some ship construction for the budget. But the deference on hold. No arms limitations. Not, not when we have, not when we have work in progress. Phoenix flying boat. Slower, worse range. Higher explosive payload. No, thank you. The boats are for scouting. And we had a design request out for a new fighter. After that, we might want to go fishing for other attack planes if they have been invented yet.
larger seaplane carrier. And okay, so we're using the Lunar and the Phoenix. The Witcher carrier capable. Nice. We're getting... Phoenix 16 had better range, but trading some range for speed seems fine. These are also more nimble. They're tougher. Still not capable of carrying bombs as an option. Same firepower. Yeah, Birdo. We'll take the 35. Uzer Marcella. Smaller guns. Many torpedoes. 30 knot speed. They are also setting up their cruisers for mine laying. Oh, we're also sitting at 50 prestige. Life good. Britain has started a light carrier. Italy and Germany are reporting tonnage for light carriers. But not ships. Oh, okay, I guess that's the, uh, their seaplane carriers living in a weird liminal space, as boats will sometimes fall into. I guess we'd received a progress report about the possibility of all or nothing armor. But it seems like we haven't formalized that yet. Heavy Cruiser Prince Heinrich. 8 by 10. Twenty-nine knots, four inches of armor. That's pretty soft, but yeah, we got we got a glass cannon here. Out of Germany. All right, Helen is in. Britain buying our destroyer tech. I will allow this. Stopping a moment to pre- so more tracks have been creeping into the Hearts of Iron 4. OST over time. Including this mix of Bella Ciao? That makes sense. Uh, Italy was one of the focus countries of the last DLC. Oh. 
Okay, we still only know of four rules of aircraft, so these are what they be. Uh, hold off on Helena, resume deference. Yes, and then once absolute tunidus is up. That will let us shift some weight. Uh, new flying boat proposal. Larger bomb load. Increased range. Increase just generally better flying boat. Sure. Epic. We owe nothing to the false Germany, to the Prussians. Yeah, likewise, yeah, it's a fine time to be saber rattling. Nice, finally. Gonna finish up exactly one of this like cruiser just in time for it to be obsoleted or project helena gets canceled entirely in order to make the more better boat there's no progress on helena yet yeah actually you know what so twin 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 then remove these two awkward middle guns So here's an eight gun, Helena. And I can make up for this shortfall by just bringing the overall displacement up to 6k. takes 20 months to build. Yeah, central fire control. Still only, only have light anti-air as an option, but there's surface room left over. I could put the auto cannons in there once they're invented. Or also clutch in some dual purpose secondary. Or dual purpose mains eventually once those are a thing. Lennox. Which, yeah, rate of fire penalties for it, but whatever. That's getting more guns per weight. 
And that turret machinery, when it gets invented, should get retrofitted in. So I am unconcerned. Yeah, scrap the Helena. Delay. Crab. What are British fishermen doing in our water? I have no answer to this. And so... That Carl over there can be ejected. Out with the old. In with the new. We have our capitalized ships. Our entire three boat battle line. Now means we devote a bunch of money to filling out some light construction. Build up to 20 oil-powered patrol boats. Start to get some Link 7s into the existence. We have moved on to Hearts of Iron 4, soundtrack on shuffle. And yeah, so with the Tunitus in the water though, let's immediately think about the next generation of big gun boat. If I were to go all in on using 30,000 tons or so. How large is the largest current big go? Britain goes up to 31. With the Cesare over there. France with the Marseille. Briefly. 28 knots, too. That's... That's making a statement. Okay, but actually, 11 armor, that's... That's something that we'll be able to... to stomp down at previous generations of large boat. Similar energy out of current Russian capital ships. Let's see America's battle line. And by 14 on the Oklahoma here. Still going slow. I think my capital ship priorities are firmly speed, then gun, then armor. If you have the advantage in speed, then you can just decide not to show up. This negates all other disadvantages. 
you decide when the fight happens. The Magnatitude. Which would have no zone of immunity against itself at this size. But I could. With this heavier main battery, just slim down the superimposed guns. Yeah, plenty of anti-aircraft space available. When we need to retrofit that on. That gives me weight I could use to go up to, say, 26 knot speed. Though, if I'm. If this is the think big design, I may as well have it push the limits of what is currently possible with our dockyards. What about a 29 knot fastest battleist ship? Battle cruiser by other means. I uh, can't fit much. Belt armor, yeah, it would still be very vulnerable to its own weapons. Could at least make the turrets and the conning tower tough enough. This would be a valid giant battle cruiser. It would be very expensive even to design though. We'll, we'll leave this napkin in the drawer in the event of an emergency. Superimposed destroyer weapons. Now that's something. Helen Axe is also ready. Get two of those made. And just kind of bemoan that already the Lynx is going to be taken aside for some adjustment because actually forward superimposed, half superimposed. Uh, still in casemates, I guess. But, hey. Those arcs. That's guns there. Give it a couple AA machine guns. finish building those sevens, but then the eleven as like an outgrowth, a subclass. That will hit the water. That'll take the world by storm.
Hopefully. Oh, Mew is also almost ready. Secondary directors we cannot currently afford. Still, though, the fact that that is near, that's useful. Coastal air bases. in Austria and Albania. I should have... I should have airstrips in Rhodes in Tripoli, probably. That would provide important coverage. you improved about the Berg 29. Oh, extra point of firepower? Extra point of toughness. More bomb load. It has a medium bomb load. Sure. the deprecation of obsolete hulls. The Jupiters will stick around for a little while and spawn is a museum ship. This boat is a legend. So the Jupiter class I will also want to completely phase out of service. Achilles is the start of our oil burning light cruisers, so that will have a bit of longevity. Probably refit these to be mine layers or mine sweepers. That would overburden you. Fair enough. Oh, so also finished my current capital ship build. means I should start agitating for an arms limitation treaty. Here in a moment where everyone else is building, but I am not. Magazine box. That is an armor scheme. So 
I think that's separate from the all or nothing tag. Yeah, that's up here. Panther Ab represent the last of our coal burning destroyers. Though just going by stats, those are still those are capable. They compete. Battlecruiser Marsai is getting a refit. Staple on more anti-aircraft weapons, as you do. It is the style at this time. construction on one light cruiser. Almost figured out how to throw a bird. Any day now, we will have this down. Okay, good, and the other Falcon just inherited the squadron loadout from her sister. So we have those. They exist. No idea how they'll perform, but we have. Baby's first air carrier. Oh, but, but they want to buy double guns on light cruisers, sure. And air catapult is here, so that... Do I want to indulge in gadgets? 
upon my larger ships. Maybe? Should they have integral spotting craft? Yeah, Corvette Force has been rebuilt. Go devote more resources to destroyer program. USA clocking in at 38 total destroyers, most of them reasonably new. What does America's newest destroyer look like? Four or five inch guns. Three torpedoes, 30 knots. So we have speed over these and we have firepower over these. Sort of. I don't think... I think the forward... The second forward gun on theirs wasn't superimposed yet. Thinking in terms of yeah, let's at least get coal firing ships phased out of the fleet as much as possible. Scrap those. Further increase the order for Lynx 11. That'll have us building back up to 32 total. And yeah, unit was oil. Alliance is oil. Clear out the Jupiters. Build another Helenax. Yeah, we're wielding a competitive number of heavy cruisers. And that'll keep us vaguely on pace for lights. Like, probably end up with a total of four Helenax. Handle this one quietly. Depth charge, you say? What manner of boat am I allowed to put these on? Crab would just barely be overweight if I give it extra depth charges. I can just reduce the ammo magazine. Crab is not meant for prolonged battle. Oh, that'll take a while to, uh... to actually carry out. Hmm. Probably still worth it, though. Okay, the cost to run the upgrade is minuscule, though. Yeah, let's just go ahead and refit every crab with anti-submarine equipment.
And what of you? Well, you can stay as you are. Or, no, you don't have any armor because you are not a crab. Yeah, so your refit is even easier. At depth charge storage. And rebuild all of those. There's medium anti air. Strongly worded letters to Italy. I guess touching the ammo magazine costs a lot of uh, work time at the yard. Does make its own kind of sense. And now, with the extra weight available on my capital ships, install a few bird swatters. Install a lot of bird swatters. Oh, do you not have the benefit of my, uh, my plus one 12 inch guns? I'll give you every advantage we can. It's finally time to remove your torpedo tubes. We have enough other sources of torpedo. Install bird's waters. Too many years per boat. Don't mind me, just putting my entire <laughs> active fleet into the yard for reconstruction. I should let some of these come back out before throwing too many into the queue. Or on the other hand, I should make sure that everything gets to work as soon as possible, becoming resistant to birds. You 
have weight to spare, and we will turn that into auto cannons. Four X tube. We love to see that. Can't afford to carry mine sweeping gear. Just give you a little bit of air defense and a mine laying payload, or really? Not oh, yeah, light AA guns and some mines. Or. I won't bother rebuilding the Achilles. All of the pre-Helen hulls can stay as they are. And we will modernize the Helen X. Once she is operational. We'll do refits of the Lynxes. Doesn't cost much to staple on a few auto cannons In time or money, you have no way to spare. Neither do you. About the seven? Now, Seven also lives on the edge. The Eleven has a bit of weight to work with. Yeah, so it can have two auto cannons for itself. Quad tubes would be a bit... Next time that a weight upgrade is available, we can go to quad tubes. For now, that'll be a refit once the 11s hit the water. We need to provoke Italy while we get more of these refits done. Air base in Ripley. And on roads. I won't provoke Germany at the moment. Prioritize. There is a job to be done. I guess I should also get the Falcons in for... 
a little bit of anti-air artillery. They have the weight to spare. I mean, their air group is what should protect them against hostile aircraft, but you never know. Overstepped the uh, equipment space. Ten and ten, ten and ten. Helenax lives. This is what the Italians are calling a heavy cruiser now. 10x10 10 10 in twin turrets, 5 inch secondaries. So our first two Helen X are online. Order. One more. Build another heavy cruiser. One more deference that we'll also then have to put it through the wiggler to receive defensive equipment. Lynx 11. You have 12 tons available. I can put some auto cannons on you. Looking good. And both of them in for refit and Helenax. Upgrades post completion. Auto cannons. Several. Clicks into place nicely. Okay, you don't quite have enough deck space for all of that. 12 and 6. And Helen Original. You have tonnage to spare, and you had no anti aircraft gun at all, so. Give you some medium and some light. not my concern. Getting close to our first dual purpose cannons. 
Just the little ones. Alright, put the other falcon in for refit. Quality one. Big gun. Like, big gun. What if I just make an Iowa? <laughs> just, just a bootleg Iowa. Like ten inclined, get back to the magazine. Big numbers, <laughs> real cannons. Definitely need many, many bird swatters. I do know of the airport aircraft catapult. Could put a bird thrower. Have a little seaplane hangar, a little birdhouse. Uh, gun quality can go from negative a couple to plus one. So we have a top of the line capital ship gun. Medium range. Normal freeboard. Oil engine. Easing up the armor until I create a zone of immunity. There it is, just barely. Just the little one. Tower, full thickness, turret tops, like the 
Yeah, three or four. That makes them reasonably protected. Shield the secondaries with something. This is a legal boat. This is permitted by naval law. Go and compare some numbers here. Uh, so measuring this against something from another universe that will not be built for another 15 years it will also be 10,000 like 12,000 tons larger That hypothetical the future ship <laughs> would move at 33 knots. Same primary weapon loadout I have here, though. More secondaries, more anti aircraft. Several utility devices that have not been invented yet, that have not been dreamed of. Jump up to 20. Secondary guns. Put even more anti-bird defenses. Call it the unreasonable. In no world should we need this much boat, and yet I'm showing to approve funding for building two of them. That's our super dreadnought. Ah, the wet heat. Just what we need. You know what? Make a couple more elevens.
wanted to crack open the core design of the difference. An auto-generated heavy cruiser. The Jess going up to twin nines. I disagree, I like our triple turrets as a weapon system. They agree that we're done using submerged torpedo tubes. 27 knots would match speed with our new capital ship. That doesn't give much over the difference, just as it is. Gotta wait for something radical to happen, tech-wise. Better hull forms. which I might take unreasonable and throw it right back into the design bureau. New fighter proposal, less speed. Range. Is worse, no thanks. Okay, unreasonable. I rework the design. Yes, those efficiency improvements have given me a bit more weight to work with. Could I demand another knot or two? One. 28 knots. We're at 20% altered. Unreasonable. Send it back in, do some more dockyard upgrades. Don't publicize the German spy. An aircraft carrying aircraft. They might be onto something here. Helenax has a tiny immunity zone. Just one little range band where it would be safe from itself. Also, I can upgrade these to directors, so let's make that happen. Real firing control, please. Same for you, Paris. We need to save a bit of weight somewhere. Take out your midship turret. In exchange for having better fire control.
Same deal here. Now we build unreasonable. Now we put up a coming soon sign over a dry dock that could one day contain the unreasonable. Adventures. Not today. Not outside of our immediate vicinity. to have a high quality 4 inch gun. That could be our dual purpose AA mount for a while. Do speed for increased bomb load. And more toughness and firepower. Range loss, though. We'll skip it. The medium bomber is now a known entity. I guess we need to wait a bit for the, uh... For the new birds to actually receive their... ...shakedowns. Make it into service. Hmm. Only three people are currently building capital ships, of which I am one. Hamperton. 42. Bomber and over there at 39. Hmm. Ally with Britain. Torpedo Bomber? 
Better speed, better range. Worse maneuver. Better bomb load. Sure. Offer to sell us all front gun. Happens, it will happen naturally. in the economy. Okay, destroyer force is looking healthy. Light cruisers are staying competitive. Heavy cruisers are staying vaguely competitive. The US is working on the first... Well, okay, they've completed one proper full-size aircraft carrier. We can always guarantee victory over Italy. It is never in doubt. There is never any doubt. Voted most likely enemy in future war. Any day now, which, all right, let's check the big board. Uh, they outweigh us in capital ship. They went larger gun with their last generation. They have their cruisers that are more heavily armed, but are also softer. are faster. We have our lights that are pretty good. Their best destroyer hits 33 knots. It carries only tiny guns. War were declared. We'll activate all reserve ships. Our exactly one mothballed vessel stays where it is. Corvettes, protect trade. 
One of my light carriers also protect trade. Take one of my old heavy cruisers and the Achilles and set them to surface raiding. Everything else is in the battle fleet. Time for boat fight. Interesting. Victory? No points were exchanged. War provokes error. Oh, they have a lot of birds. Must be shore-mounted birds. All right. A real battle with real ships. Yeah, Britain has sent Jupiter and Royal Oak with some screens. We are here with the unit. Good job. Scatter in all directions. Actually, wait, yeah, hold on. Do we... Have we brought today... One light cruiser. Falcon is here. We have strike craft in our squad, ready to go. There's one of our recon airships hanging out. Well, let's go get them. We can do wide formation as well now. Nice. And this is with increased elevation on all of our guns now, so we're engaging at big range. Okay, enemy capital ships sighted. 
Dante returns. It's still classic Dante. 12 by 14, 25 knots. Nine inch belt armor. What a half deck. Which should be profoundly vulnerable to my stuff. Just need to get within 20 kilometers and suddenly they are in danger. Let's close the distance. Yeah, 19,000 range now, so we should be at damage dealing range. Pull out to open up the rest of the guns. Okay, under these conditions, nominal accuracy of 1.8%. Oh, you want to come closer? Tubes were discharged. Good on you. These have no known anti-aircraft weapons. Oh, and I've knocked a turret out on one of them. Actually, you are Kavor 12 by 13. More armor, less speed. Minimal, non-zero anti-aircraft weapons. Yeah, Falco, you have Torpedo bombers, right? Should be part of your air group wherever it lives in your UI. Carry division, Falco. Yeah, 10 torpedo bombers on the Falcon. Recorded hits against Dante. So that's good. Can we get our birds in there, though? has taken minor damage. Tegatov is a little shaken. Alright, one gun is jammed, the hull is not damaged. Now request request land-based air patrol is one button. So now we're down to 12 kilometers. Falco. Provide cap to battle division. I guess.
additional large... That's probably their... Their scout force over there. Hmm. Getting caught up in a crossfire. Turn around. Continue to engage these two. Don't get drawn into the rest. One little squadron of point X. There are birds in the air. Within bird range of Italy. are real. And Zagatov is already split off in response to being struck by birds, by invisible birds. These. It's the enemy. Trick the English into taking the brunt of this instead. have a little bit of buoyancy left after surviving two torpedo hits. Let's continue to engage that Marsala. since it's available.
approach me, Dante. Sail directly into the knives. Many unfired torpedoes await you. I tell Falcon to go on the attack. Independent? Show air formations, handle cap and recon. All the world's fighting ships. All right, so skim out land based. What do we got here? Falca has birds that are currently returning. That are on recon. Okay, that's the search button. That lets me put in big, wide air unit control orders. Look at that, look at that spread. Our anti-bird technology may currently be lacking. Our destroyers still have plenty of knives. Love is being approached by airships. <laughs> Ominous. Stay safe. Uh, coastal guns do automatically get some AA equipment. Too heavy, too medium, too light shore batteries and the air base itself also has some heavy anti-air yeah the fighters are up on patrol Whole new worlds of interface 
for bird management. Apparently two of my torpedo bombers have been destroyed. Three are damaged, five are okay. Of the stuff that is on Falcon. Why it just took me to that dot? For a while we just looked at the zero point of the world coordinate system. Looks like Tagatov is escaping them. That's good. The flooding is holding. They're managing nine knots. My destroyers was just sent by attack seconds. A terrifying new age of warfare. Yeah, the secondaries are good out to 12k. Secondaries are now engaging this. behind my screen. You are in the process of sinking, but you're not completely dead. I should invest more heavily in airfields. Gone are the days when we can casually approach the Italian shore. Is this happening? Hostile torpedo bombers are over there. They need to build up the air station at Pola. Those are probably coming from Venice. into port. Sp 
spicy. So, rough opening engagement. Two destroyers lost, many destroyers mangled. All capital ships survived, though. They have a lot of birds. A lot of birds. I see. Now double the guns on destroyers. That's interesting stuff. New torpedo bomber. Plus speed, plus range. Same bomb load. Reduced toughness, reduced maneuver. That's good. Rude. Do I need to replace the Corvette? Build one crab. Suffer the loss of a heavy cruiser to a mine. So, airbase. Expand. Build up both of those. Strong additions to the Hearts 4 soundtrack. Next, next generation of boat needs to look up. have dual purpose mains yet. be a lot of gun. Moving up to eight gun, probably not necessary yet. We can start using rangefinder though.
drop to a single quad mount torpedo tube. Maybe? Or no. Keep the old torpedo loadout, consolidate the existing quad gun set up into a pair of twin. Yeah, a pair of twin turrets. Still operating within the existing weight limit that we had. Slap on some auto cannons. Aft torpedo tube was an option for the submerged launchers, not for the on deck ones. Convoy attack. Let's see what we can do with current light cruiser technology. The Helen Axe is here. And the elephant is here to help us hunt. Wait, who's... Oh, the python is way out there. The python is... Engaging in very advanced technology. I don't think that's part of my squadron. That's what's the problem here. Yeah, that's an unrelated support division that happens to be in the area. They're not officially part of this attack. As we're charging into close quarters with the Marsalas. Yes, they do have four torpedoes on each side. Only five inch main guns. Do we have any reports on where the convoy is? Over there, heading north. Up here, heading south. Many contradictory reports from our squads. Tubes out. Go 
for it. have launched most of your starburners tubes all port tubes are available My light cruisers can thrive. Side. You still have to starboard tubes left to fire. You're all out. Good job, Helen X. Also, friendly fire with torpedoes is possible. Your gunner AI will try to keep that in mind. Ideally, they choose firing solutions that don't endanger friendly ships. up six kills on the convoy if one confirmed two confirmed and we've got enough targets sectioned off here as long as we can secure them no oh, coastal guns things is probably my thoughts here our work is done. Let's leave. Cruise speed for Albania. Turn off the murder signal. Get everyone to form up again. Accelerator. Got too spicy. Tried to fight the ground.
probably also set up an airbase at Valona then. That would cover the strait. At some price, but oh, we did wind up taking out one of their cruisers in the process. Good stuff. Carl online. Destroyer rework. Keep replacement production of those going throughout the conflict. Oh, and we can afford to keep working on the unreasonable. That's nice. So, air base in Albania. Linux has a promising future. All right, Tekatov wants revenge. <laughs> Battleship is hungry. Who dares run the blockade? signals to your escort. Pisani. You should be very pierceable. You're also fast enough to try and escape from me. Unless the weather slows you down. It's raining a little. Come on. Come on, where are you?
probably heading for Sardinia. Though approaching Sardinia might be unwise. Okay, fine. You got away. I made my point. I earned my points. The all forward gun layout is now known. No, oh, and dual purpose small cannon. This means that it is possible for us to do uh, what you might call a Nelson. Nelson did this, Dunkirk did this, I guess the C, the C forward is too close. How about one of that though? In big in the ship first. Just a concept sketch. We could do one of these. And there would be some manner of benefit. It's not understandable as any form of boat. Oh, that didn't set the gun caliber all the way up. Still cannot be comprehended as any form of boat. Okay, it auto-generated one here. Here is a battling ship. All the mains are at the front, all the secondaries are at the back. I'm not sure what pros or cons these had, this layout had, in the ships that tried it. Dual purpose tertiaries, which, yeah. If you're going to have tertiary guns, that the anti-aircraft battery is a, an idea for what they would be. hold out for the dual purpose five. Shore bombardment. Dangerous. Be cruisers. And Falco is here again. guns are tiny. I could have these refit into dual purpose when there's time for it. Let's give it a shot.
I guess the seaplane carrier, I should also reassign that to commerce defense rather than expecting it to show up for real fights. Transports. But maybe also a squadron of defenders. Nightfall will help us sneak in without being accosted by birds. And with our main gun loadout, we shouldn't need much time to actually destroy the target. There's the airport. This. <laughs> Dread magic sigil signifying birds. Okay. Okay, there's land feature. Get positive identity. Get him. Got him. Now, escape. Full speed. Make sure that any enemy response is lured directly into this squadron of British battlecruisers. Oh, that's, that's one of the newer ones. That's hefty. They got the big gun. Accomplish. Mm, neutral opinion on an early piece. Attrition continues out there on the water. We have a lot of mind laying capacity. All right, yeah, elephant, you are trade protection. So you could also adjust the squadrons.
lean toward fighters. Ports. Cut down on our number of flying boats in favor of a few more fighters. Also install some more fortifications in Albania and Dalmatia. There's a lot of unattended coastline. They're afraid. Where are your birds now? No confidence in this untested wild new technology. Okay, one of my lights and its escorts versus what have we caught here? Enemy light. Turn. Starboard. And yeah. A whole three six inch guns and two torpedo tubes and less speed than I have. Okay. Parallel course. Ready the launchers. Launchers away. Now hold on to those. No, the launchers are undamaged, okay. They just look very squashed on that uh, close-up. Nightfall. Well, that happened. Ships collided. Words were exchanged. Don't really have the tools to pursue people at night. We go home. But yeah, like ideally, we might get like a gun battery up here on the peninsula. Maybe something over here on these islands. There's this whole big open stretch that would be very vulnerable to invasion. Marginal victory.
I have the prestige and money to fare to spare. We'll we'll fix the rangefinders. Improved gun directors. So, Tunidus is in for repair anyway. Hey. You know, that old, allegedly faulty fire control system? Stop talking about it and accept an upgrade. The future. Uh, don't actually touch the magazine, since that will probably cost a lot of work. Yeah, suddenly it becomes a one-year job if I do anything to ammo storage, so just replace the control systems. Build it. And similarly... Get that offer out for other ships. Since we are in the middle of a war, we will do this in moderation. You never got your anti-aircraft suite. Interesting. Seems like the job has gone through anyway, so that's good. Okay, defense against enemy coastal raid. have friendly birds who can provide information and deliver bullets. All right, reports are coming in. And here we are, target sighted. Get up to fighting speed. Keep the formation together for now. What are Britain's and heavy cruisers as well? So, here are some birds that are approaching, going after the Europa. Hey, Falca, do you have tools for that? Yes, 
Your phoenix are in the air. These are mine. Okay, but the phoenix are up here protecting my cruisers. Hector. Raven is Hector. Just over here being accosted, receiving problems. Their planes have enough range to attack our water from their shore. Well, nobody sank. Vector is damaged, but holding on. Yeah, they'll make it back to port. They withdrew. Indecisive. There we go, had to go jostle the tape. All right, we have a lot of anti-submarine capability. Did my new airbase receive 488? Acceptable. And the newly upgraded ones. Okay, now they are going to start stalking medium bomber. up. Yeah, I can. No, we haven't invented Air's port 2. Alright, push another month. Loser action. That force estimate contained a single B. Somehow, I suspect our scouts were misinformed about the composition of the enemy fleet. 
just got a hunch. Sunset, though. We are cruising. No contact, making us the victor. Right there. Go for it as it lived. It is fighting time. We will delay construction on the unreasonable for a bit to cover budget problems. Cruisers take to the field again. Try to not be too close to Venezia with its two airports. Me capital ship coming at me. Or no, just an overestimation of large cruiser. Which is very pierceable with 8 inch guns. So, have Adam.
Enemy torpedo bombers are in there somewhere. Okay, but we are successfully slaying some enemy birds. In exchange for taking two torpedo heads. Small ones, deference is alive. Catch deterrence. Pass the flag over Schwarzenberg. And continue the fight. Fort is right there. Tiger's going for it. Tiger is mad. It kind of seems like we've made our point here. I call them back. Oh, I need to put anti-aircraft guns out of my patrol boats as well. That's another round of upgrades. You get him, Lloyds. Falca, you also go home. Strange and terrifying new era of warfare.
Good to have confirmation that our birds also have enough range. To hassle the opposition. Two submarines were destroyed. A moral victory. The overall weight of our fleet does successfully blockade the enemy. We put Hector and Paris onto trade protection. And contemplate Crab. Crab has five tons of available weight, which is permissible. Cannot use dual purpose guns as main armament. Fresh Corvette design. If I were to auto generate right now, 100 tons, 20 knots. Depth charge storage. All right, let's add the mine sweeping gear back in. Let's add the speed back in. Yes, do use oil. Have a real fire control system. Have increased elevation on your gun. Only have room for seven auto cannons, and that's fine. Have a tiny bit of armor. Just a smidge. Overall numbers in the Almanac are holding up fine. Short one battleship because Tunitus is in refit. Let's attempt to enforce our blockade. With two large cruiser. Cannot get those improved fire directors out soon enough. I've had 
you. Though the coastline might let me reacquire the target. They have a magician. With a 3,000 point lead, wouldn't mind hearing a piece when it's there. construction of lobster next generation shore defense vessel a fleet battle a real battle with real boats And Air Base Valona is here. Armed and ready. Right, yeah, and so our battle line here is Unit and Tegatov. Fighting speed. Dante. Of 
we can lure Dante into approaching our shoreline. Attack order. Oh, it goes. Mo <laughs> this is doctrine. Nothing got hit by that airstrike. That off is okay. Unit is okay. Okay, the compliance has been scratched up a bit. They might have my permission to leave. Cruiser line has done okay. Yeah, let's bounce. AV, CVL, Agro Carrier. Also, the Lloyds. Go get them, Lloyds. How fast is that Lombardia? 29, okay, quite spry. Okay, yeah, it looks like anti air artillery is sufficient. We might have enough flak to deal with current bird tech. We have a carrier in gun range, cruisers. You have a very important mission now, cruisers. Seems 
to be slowing down. You have deprived them of engines. And soon you must deprive them of the rest. You have scored gun hits. You have not yet. Come on, you got this. Look at the engagement is still kind of evolving up here. I'll send the battleships home. Cruisers have their their task here, trying to chase down the Lombardia. Come on, get them. Will not escape me, it's burning. Not burning. Come on. Catch fire. Nominal accuracy going as high as two percent. Come on, cruiser line. Now they're burning. Burning, losing power. There we go, dead in the water. Couple torpedoes into it for good measure. It's a lot of smoke. Wildfang has managed to hit another mine. Well, at this point, that's just sweeping work. Good job, Wildfang. Keep at it. A torpedo hit. Sink Lombardia. Perish. Okay, that's generating unreasonable amounts of smoke. That's starting to lag. This. There's no way Lombardia's getting away from that. I think we got him. Well, thanks, strikes another mine. Good job. That takes skill. The uh, cruiser's actually hit for Durazzo. Yeah, that's a... 
According to the latest Battlefield intel, the, the Italians may have developed some sort of singularity engine to power their carriers. How bad of a hit? Medium. The birds are dangerous, but not beyond negotiation. Yeah, medium hit there as well. Guitar was still closer. make the run for it. Lombardia confirmed destroyed. It's not hassle, whatever portion of the Italian fleet that was. We have places to be flooding to reverse. Victory! Trade one destroyer for one light carrier and a destroyer. Coastal defense is looking handsome. Do we send Lenin to Rome? Yes, always. <laughs> Mission. A couple more Corvettes to keep up supply. Yeah, I've got multiple destroyers in production. We have money to continue work on the unreasonable. It is within two years. Another boot fight. 
And it's essentially the same loadout as last time, but this time we're fighting up north. And do we lack our scouting division this time? We got battle, we got destroyers. Have a light cruiser. Falcon is here. Falcon is here and should provide cover. Ooh, the battleships. And the British have sent four dreadnoughts to assist. To provide all that assistance that the British always bring. Oh, there's Scout Force. Yes. Way over here. Bring you back in. All right, so reports. Census seems to be they are moving east. They build an airport in Zara. Okay, at least the British line is up here with me this time. They might trade shots with the enemy. Where are the Lloyds? The Lloyds have located the enemy to the south. Well, let's get over there. You request coastal air patrol. An airship strike. Zeppelins. <laughs> the Italian battle Zeppelin, Terror of the Skies. At least our birds know where the enemy ships are. I want to know where the enemy ships are. That's why Unreasonable is going to have its own onboard scout planes. To prevent exactly this situation.
This is the future that aviators want. <laughs> Naval combat where no ship ever sees another ship. To fire in anger. Where vessels just flail about being accosted by mosquitoes. <laughs> Get out of here. This place is terrible. I don't know how effective telling my air forces to suppress hostile birds would be. That's an open question. Okay, the Falca survived that. Falca was damaged. But lives on. Checking on the old feature list here for the unreasonable. Does have directors for its secondaries. Someday. Going to shut down the airship bases. Install even more airports. This is the fight they want. This is the fight we will give them.
It doesn't take that long to get these set up. And that, yes, that would make for an airport in every nearby zone. And birds defeat a cube. Actually, let's try airfield suppression. That's a very rudely placed cube. That's going to take some doing to approach. air cover goes mode. There's going to be some amount of turnover among the destroyers. Standard active cube demolition.
we're no longer able we are no longer able to see the cube from outside the range. We have to wait till morning. has to be a better way to engage a cube. Alas, science is baffled. No way to prevent this. No way to enforce this. What is the sunrise? Nine more hours. Well, we spin all night. Where the hell is going home? Siege of Piscara continues. Alright. Two and a half more hours. Cube acquired. Cubes have changed. We fought that cube for seven days. Compliance, please. Also, you have... You had second... You have more secondary ammo. Everything you've got. Compliance. The aft guns are still mostly full. Slow down.
finally. Begrudging victory. We weren't accosted by as many birds, so suppression might have worked? time two of you in a more accessible spot for bombardment. We've attacked the Ancona cube many times. And also request coastal air protection. Somewhere elsewhere, a fight is happening. Other elements from the fleet have engaged something. I guess improving comms tech is letting us see more of these events as they happen. Well, we'll defeat the cube. Cube defeated. Now let's go try and see what that other fight is about. Cruiser division over there. We did the thing.
one of my light cruisers was destroyed in the background. Terrible. Even larger Lloyd. Approve. Coastal Defense Patrol. New batteries seem to be in decent places. It's a large enemy ship somewhere out here. They have been moving towards Bellato there. You. Everyone. Kill. Immediate shotgun of torpedoes. And we're in high wind. Limiting operations. You go oh, the ringleader. Oh, in such bad conditions, are your ships prone to misidentifying? Are friendly fire incidents possible in this bad weather?
Okay, at least with the sun up, we should be able to do something. Are there any fresh reports? Down there, headed south. Down there, headed south. Let's go, huh? Boat fight canceled due to rain. Call it a victory. More speed, more toughness, reduced range, larger bomb load. Stick with our existing flying boat. I still don't have a strong sense of what makes for good raider and counter raider. Boat loadouts. Push for one more turn. Yeah, this OST is available as playlist that is on shuffle, and so sometimes it just kind of falls asleep. Anyway, one last cube. We have tenuously entered the age of birds without the front falling off.
nicely done. Okay, who is coming out to confront me? One Pisani class. Why were you up here? Take you off trade protection for one day. Ships are surviving hits from air torpedoes. The damage control teams seem adequate. Took you off trade protection for one day, and this is what you do. There, we already have a perfectly good aircraft carrier, it's called DIRT. And while we face setbacks, we still have a 5,000 point lead, so... Sure, push for terms. Or, 
what if we keep the planes in the sky? That way they're already airborne. We do have some unrest because Italian raiders are succeeding. Let's put Falcon on trade protection. about okay these are still too large to be dual purpose I would need to down scale although I have a plus one four inch gun maybe this is exactly what I do think about four and aft superimposed that's almost viable But the mine laying equipment and the machine guns. Mines back in? No, the mines weigh a ton each. Yeah, there we go, that's a destroyer. And it could use real fire control. Okay, that will cost even more. Uh, you don't need separate dedicated AA when you're going to have... We'll give you one each of the separate dedicated AA. Lose a knot of speed, that does it. Okay. And you could jump up to quad tubes, yes! That's both. Even give you a little extra ammo. Which would also mean I could make Corvettes with dual purpose main gun. Lobster 2 will be a capable anti-aircraft vessel. Can you use twin guns? No, singles only for Corvette. Understandable. We have tenuously entered the Age of Birds. As of yet, the front has not fallen off. Whether or not that will endure, time will tell. 
I guess, hey, is there an almanac page for... Yeah, total aircraft count. Italy, where are you keeping 120 zeppelins? Our plane count is picking back up. Yeah, Italy has one of the leading air forces. Well then. Things to do. Next time.